This time we'll call the San Bruno Redevelopment Agency to order. If we could have roll call, please. Board Member O'Connell. Uh, here. Vice Chair Ruane. Here. Chair Fangella. Here. Board Member Medina. Here. Board Member Aguero. Here. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of May 12, 2009 will stand approved as submitted unless there's any changes or corrections. Hearing none, they'll stand approved. Consent calendar, all items are considered routine. Uh, there are no items on the consent calendar this evening. Public hearing, uh, there are none scheduled. Public comment, it's the staff's, uh, it's the council's policy or the agency's policy to refer matters raised in this form to staff for investigation. Is there anyone wanting to address the agency? Seeing none, we'll move on to conduct of business. Re uh, receive report on owner participation agreement. City Manager. Uh, thank you, uh, Board Chair and members of the Agency Board. Uh, you have no uh, material in your packet tonight, uh, and we are not asking you to take an action, although we continue to be very hopeful that this process of uh, completing an owner participation agreement will conclude soon and that we will, uh, as I indicated soon, have uh, an, item, an action item in front of you. Uh, the, the purpose of tonight's agenda item is simply, again, to give you an update and to more specifically identify for you exactly what it is that we're attempting to work out and to resolve and negotiate with the property owner, uh, Mr. Stegner, and his development company. Um, as, as the agency board is aware, the basic uh, content and purpose of the owner participation agreement is to facilitate the agency's participation, its financial participation, in the project that will be developed on parcels 9 and 10 of the crossing site, and more specifically, the inclusion in that project of a high-quality, casual, fine-dining restaurant, that being the priority objective of the agency and the community in the development of the overall retail project. We're currently continuing to work out with Mr. Stegner and his team the details of the specific language included in the owner participation agreement that will secure a firm understanding of the design details and the finishes that will be incorporated into the project and more specifically into the restaurant component of the project. Secondly, we're, and related to the first, uh, we're cognizant of the need for the agency to achieve a level of assurance and certainty through the agreement, not only that the space will be built out in a manner that is specifically <coughs> intended for a casual fine dining restaurant and that will maximize the continued likelihood that this space will be used for this purpose into perpetuity. Uh, we are also working out the details of how the investment that the agency is intending to make uh, will be secured, uh, both by the completion of that project as well as uh, in the event that that, for whatever unforeseen reason, uh, does not occur, that that build-out does not occur in the manner that we expect. More specifically, uh, we're taking a great deal of time and effort, as is Mr. Stegner and his group, to work out these details because we recognize the risk that is inherent in this agreement in, in the arrangement uh, that this agreement secures, and that is that the agency is providing funds to assist the project or would provide funds to assist the project, but the agency is not actually directly involved in developing the project. Um, and in fact, this is uh, a very common uh, activity of a redevelopment agency, but it is one, as I said, that, that does carry some risk. In essence, the agency is contributing and working towards the build-out of its vision, and in this case, that vision includes a certain character and quality of the tenant that will occupy a significant space of this particular project. Um, the restaurants, as this 
agency board and, and uh, uh, you as individuals, I'm, I'm sure, realize are inherent to inherently risky businesses. And because there is no uh, absolute guarantee that that vision and the expectations of the agency will absolutely be met in that the, um, there is no guarantee that the restaurant will open or, and or that it will be successful. Uh, this agreement attempts to ensure that vision and, the, and an acceptable security for the city's investment by guaranteeing or assuring that the space is built out in a manner that makes it actually unlikely to be occupied in the future by some other type of business or even some other type of restaurant. Um, the idea is to create, to the best of our ability, an environment and a location and, as I indicated before, a um, character and quality of the physical built space that will be highly attractive to the type of restaurant that the agency board and the community need and expect. And again, to maximize the likelihood that that space will be used for that purpose into perpetuity. Just in closing, um, I would again emphasize that the best that we can do, and again, it takes a fair amount of uh, close coordination with the developer because this is a very important and, as I indicated, uh, not a project that is not without some amount of risk. We believe that the closest <coughs> that we can come is to use the basic tool of redevelopment in the manner that redevelopment was expected to be used to assure that the project is built out in a way that meets the agency's quality requirements and, and essentially makes our financial participation one which, not unlike the participation that we have provided to the housing components of the crossing project, to buy down the affordability of those uh, housing units and make, those, make sure that there are units that are available to low-income households, that in, in essence, what that does and what we're proposing to do here is to fill in the gap between what the market would otherwise produce and what it is that we need and expect. Now, again, that gap is not horrific. This is not a bad site for a restaurant, and we're not trying to force the market to do something that would otherwise be um, really out of the ballpark, but simply to make sure that the restaurant use and we've been assured uh, both by the developer as well as uh, numerous individuals in the restaurant business and the restaurant industry that this is a good place for a restaurant. We want to make sure that we have adequately articulated and that we are bringing forward an agreement which adequately and appropriately and reasonably <coughs> assures you that that restaurant will be built out in the manner that we expect, and that is at the level of quality that represents what we define casual fine dining. So uh, again, unfortunately, I don't have an action item for you tonight, but want to keep you continuously updated. And with that, I would be happy to take any questions. Any questions from agency members? <coughs> yeah. If not, thank you for the update. The, at this time, the San Bernardino Redevelopment Agency will adjourn until the next called meeting.